Okay, I was just about to film my intro, but I can't right now. Why? Because there's a freaking spider on my ceiling wall. What's going on, babe? Don't you get got... too close. Don't get too close. You gotta do something about this. Yo, I got arachnophobia. I have a gift where <gasps> I can see a spider from a mile <sighs> away. That is disgusting. It's either... Do something, babe. Do do see, I don't like killing things. You gotta do something about this. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, there I, it I is. need to see a body. Thank you very much. You're the best, bae. Let's get married now. I need you in my life forever. Love you. Thank you. Okay, now we can film. Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Oh. Clearly shit's hitting the fan right now. Um, what else is new? So yeah guys, in today's video, I thought I would film my current active favorites. We haven't done one of these in a hot minute. And by hot minute, I actually mean like a couple months. Today's lingo's crazy, I don't know. Minute means months, but yeah. So if you guys are new to my channel, this is a series. I like to film these kinds of videos from time to time when I feel it necessary, where I go over my personal fitness essentials and active favorites, things that I've been loving lately, find intriguing. You already know, we got Gymshark, we got Nike, what else? Some Amazon. So without further ado, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, please and thank you. It really helps me out a ton. Follow your girl on IG and TikTok, because together we got this. All right guys, so to start the show, please forgive me if I'm becoming repetitive at this point, but dang, if the Alphalee Amplify collection isn't God's gift to the world, I don't really know what is. It's true, I've like talked about these in a couple videos. They're here again, they made it to the favorites. Are you surprised? The rumors you heard were true, they are all that in a bag of chips. These scrunch butt on these are heavenly. These are their biker shorts in like a pretty lavender color. I do have their leggings. I did a full review on these, like top, bottom, left, right, tried them out at the gym. So check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with the Amplify collection. I want more of them and I've been checking back almost daily and I can't seem to get any of their shorts, their regular shorts, because they're always out of stock. I can see why. It's summer. You want your glutes to look good, I get it. Lately, I've been taking my training to the next level and I've been really, really, really focusing on lower body, especially trying to grow some muscle mass in these certain regions. I think you know where I'm talking about, like the peach. And just wearing these on leg day alone just gives me such ultra confidence. It's like as if somebody saran wrapped my booty and it just makes me look like my glutes are a little bit photoshopped. What girl doesn't want their glutes to look photoshopped, am I right? So yeah guys, I did a full review on these. I'm not trying to get repetitive in this video in case you've watched my other ones. So definitely check that out if you didn't already. Um, it's definitely worth the watch if you're looking for your glutes to be taken to the next freaking level in leggings and shorts for this summertime. Uh, you don't wanna miss that one. I'm telling you right here, right now. You'll thank me later. I mean, honest to God, I, Gymshark needs to get more credit for their accessories. How about the rest day socks? Anybody? Did anybody get their hands on it? I, for the longest time I was rocking these, getting a lot of questions like, when are they launching on the site? I don't see them. To be honest, I had no freaking clue. <laughs> Till one day I happened to look and I finally saw them on the site, so they're up for grabs right now. I believe they come in black and like a light green, but I got the staple white. You got the little Gymshark patch on it. So it's still very minimal, but damn, I love these socks. These rest day socks, let me tell you something about these freaking socks. <laughs> they give me total 90s vibes. Why? Because they got that slouchy look. These socks plus the oversized boyfriend hoodie. Oh girl, that's a vibe right there. These socks in a nutshell are essentially a magnified rib that's able to be worn straight up if you'd like or slouched down and it gives a natural baggy look to your sock around your ankle. Again, again, like total full house Stephanie Tanner vibe, like you back in the 90s girl own that. The bottom of it is a little bit more like on the thinner side as opposed to the rest of it, which is super like cushiony. So I wouldn't wear them to the gym because of that reason. They're not very absorbent because they're so thin. You'll sweat right through these. <laughs> so totally use them on a chill rest day kind of day or when you're just trying to show out, take a selfie and just be legit. <laughs> I also wanted to mention Gymshark's legacy hats. 
I got them in one each. I mean, technically one's beige, but I'm pretty much rocking them both now. White and black. Gymshark, if you are watching, I'm about to make a damn petition because we want more legacy. 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 <laughs> Where are my legacy at? Guys, they actually had these on the site before, and then they sold out, and I got real depressed about it, but then they came back, and I snagged them. I said, this time I'm going both. Next time I don't know which color to go for, I'm just gonna get both because it's zero regrets. Regrets. So yeah, it's just your standard baseball cap. I've been wearing these almost daily, like some kind of baseball cap while working out. I think it's so sporty, sexy, wear a pair of shorts in the gym. I think it's just fire. I think it's a fire look. And the Legacy just has that like old school vibe. I love the Legacy patch. And it's not even like a patch patch. It's like sewn in. It's part of that hat. There is no glue and a patch. It's like freaking one and the same with this hat. I don't know how they do it. Hey, where'd the sticker go on this? I took it off, I took it off. Why'd you do it? I always do. You keep that sticker on, this is authentic. 940 adjustable. So Bay and I were actually in the market for sneakers a couple months ago, and we went perusing on Nike's website, cause Nike for life. Love Adidas too, but anyway. We actually saw a Nike by you customizable section on their site that I have never seen before. Guys, am I that oblivious? Like comment down below, did you know this? If not, are we both living under a rock or what? I don't understand. But yeah, apparently it's a thing, and Bay and I actually customized our own Nikes. Air Max 90s right here. These are one of my favorite Nike sneakers. I like them because they almost got that like old school vibe. They're a little chunky looking. You could still work out in them, or you can wear them more as a street style. Either way it goes. So we chose to customize the Air Max 90s, and he got one in his size, I got one in mine. So now we are that couple with matching Nike sneakers. When we go to the family barbecue, this is how we're rolling up a ring. Couples that match together, latch together. <laughs> yeah, you get to actually design like each element of this. So we actually went for more of like that desert summer vibe. I wanted to get a little coral action going on with a little of that rusty, dusty mustard color and like the coral laces with that off white base. I think that me personally, I tend to like, I like this style. Do you like how I customized it? <laughs> or are you like, damn girl, that looks like shit. I wanted to bring these up because I'm obsessed with the customized section. I want to stand out. I don't want what everybody else has. Do you? So I thought this was a really cute couple's idea. You can design them together, or if you know somebody's favorite color, you can do it as a gift. Maybe get them customized Nikes. Oh. Oh, where are we? So we are at our gym right now. Had to take a little road trip, 10 minute road trip. Had to share with you guys my next favorite, which is located at our freaking gym. Ooh, do you see this right now? This floating squat rack is my favorite thing in this gym right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm obsessed with you. We got this baby off of Amazon. I think it was a little under $300. But if you are looking for a very simple, minimal, straightforward squat rack, if you are just like a little tight on space like us, we kind of filled this gym up really fast. I realized I wanted free weight squatting, so I needed something that could take up minimal space. These are detached. There's no big like lunky donkey squat rack. No connecting frame whatsoever, just two separate pieces. So when I'm done, I just take the barbell off, I can condense it and like shove it in a corner if I need to. It, and what I love about this, it's portable as well. So you can put yeah. it wherever you want. If you have a smaller home gym, you don't have to worry about dedicating a whole wall space mm -hmm. to a squat rack. Just yeah. pull it right out in the middle. If you don't want to invest in like the big, monkey, big ass squat rack that needs to take up a wall, this is so perfect. I searched far and wide and found this one from the brand C, what is it? <laughs> CFF Fit. They had really good reviews and I love it. <laughs> it holds up to like 700 pounds. Never gonna need that. The most I do is like 70. So if you guys have been following us for a while, our gym is almost complete. <laughs> we'll do a gym tour soon. We do have a Smith machine, but I like that for more of isolation exercises. I needed free weight squatting, just free weight in general to 
better like work on balance. I wanted to work on getting my stabilizer muscles up to par. Whereas the Smith machine kind of does that work for you. So I wanted, I knew from the beginning, I definitely wanted a more of a free weight squat rack. The issue was we didn't know where we would put it. So we have the Smith machine and all the other equipment. So we thought maybe we could fit it right here, but just to be safe, we got the floating one that can be condensed. And I'm so glad we did because it turns out we wouldn't have had the space. <laughs> it would have been crushed up against the table machine and we didn't want to do that. We want to be able to use this space. So this is perfect to kind of like bring out into the center and have my space where I can really squat and really get into some movements without feeling restricted or like I'm about to hit something like the barbell might smack into a mirror or a machine. This is like very free for me. This is an Olympic size barbell and it's sold separately. So it didn't come with the rest of the squat rack. These are adjustable too. So this is good for chest pressing and uh, obviously this extends as well. So um, yeah, it holds up to 700 pounds and I absolutely love it. It is so super sturdy, all right? I was trying this out all week. Very, very sturdy. Just going like this, boom. Like it is not going anywhere. It's very stable. The one thing I will say is just make sure these two pieces are far out enough so that when you're coming back, you aren't tripping over the bottom here. Me, I don't have that issue because I'm really careful and I'm watching myself in the mirror. You can always move it out if you need to. All right guys, so now let's go run home and finish this video. <laughs> okay guys, so last but not least, we have a random sports bra here that had to make the freaking video. <laughs> What's the name though? It's like long as hell. What is it, Bay? I need help from Bay. White. It's the white. Premium. Premium. Cut out. Cut out. Long line. Long line. Padded. Padded. Sports bra. Sports bra. White. Premium. Cut out. Long line. Padded. Sports bra. From Pretty Little Thing. Um, Pretty Little Thing, that's not freaking necessary. I'm just saying, like, just call it the white cut out bra. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, call it whatever you want. But this had to make mention because I don't know about you, but I love like collecting random plain white sports bras in case you haven't noticed. I always have them because they are the first things to get pretty much dirty. You always need to have a fresh white sports bra because it'll go with anything. I uh, love to mix and match. So this one's affordable. It's actually on sale, I believe right now for $20. It is, um, in one word, sexy. It's got that cutout right in between your cleavage, right where that sweat drip drops. You also have the backing, which is to die for. You've got that strappy sexy. This is made for back day, in case you didn't know that. I'm just saying that this is what I like it for because I love seeing my back with sexy straps on it. I love how nothing digs in. By the way, this is such a comfortable sports bra. Totally true to size. You've got the nice lightweight padding so your nips don't slip. I find the band being really thick, very flattering because it just looks and feels more secure that way. Especially with the delicate straps that you have that are also non-adjustable, mind you. They did a really good job on this bra and for its affordability, and sleek style. Yeah, I would totally think that it's worth it. I love it. Alrighty guys, so that concludes another Active Favorites. Comment down below your thoughts. Have you tried anything that I shared with you today? Definitely stay posted. We have a lot of exciting videos to come. A ton of, you guessed it, new Gymshark, obviously. <laughs> Lots of new releases coming this month, so just, I'm just letting you know, girly. I mean, I know you saw that new Apex Seamless coming out, right? Yeah, that's coming. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Thank you all so very much for watching. Really appreciate you guys as always. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.